He's still on the run. The manhunt continues this morning for the suspected gunman in the Lewiston, Maine mass shootings. Roughly 50,000 people remain under lockdown across the state after the 40-year-old suspect killed at least 18 people and injured 13 at a bowling alley and bar Wednesday night. Eight victims were killed at the bar seven at the bowling alley, and three died at area hospitals. An arrest warrant has been issued for the suspect, charging him with eight counts of murder based on the identification of eight victims so far. Search warrants were executed at a number of locations yesterday throughout the nearby town of Bowdoin, where the suspect lives. Four senior law enforcement officials tell NBC News a note was found at the suspect's home during a search. Investigators are trying to determine the meaning of that note and how it might be able to guide their investigation. The U.S. Coast Guard, meanwhile, also is joining the search effort. The suspect owns a boat and at least one jet ski, leading to questions as to whether he could have fled across the water. Remember, he left his car at a boat dock in Lisbon. Investigators also are looking into whether a gun found in the suspect's car was the same one used in the shootings. The weapon is believed to be a sniper rifle purchased legally this year, according to officials. Law enforcement also looking into whether a female acquaintance of the suspect who frequented the bar may have been a reason the suspect targeted that location. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton. She joins us live from Lewiston. Antonia, what's the latest there? Hey, Willie. Well, thousands of people here in Lewiston, but we're hearing actually all throughout the state of Maine, have been hunkered down at home. Businesses closed, schools out for the second day in a row. And when I talk to residents, they describe a combination of extreme shock and excruciating grief here, in part because it's hard to really pick up the pieces to grieve together when you're at, on lockdown at home. People are turning out their lights at night, fearful that he might be out there in the woods looking for another target, a, a home to come and visit. Uh, they've been locking up their barns, locking up their cars. And so the, the pain here is immense. I had a conversation with one resident yesterday who was actually here at the medical center. This is the primary center where victims have been treated. Three people are still in critical condition behind me here. Three people passed away here. And this resident, a woman named Cynthia Hunter, was here outside of the emergency room watching uh, as uh, minutes after 7 p.m., after these shootings had unfolded, people started to arrive, and she saw both young people and adults coming in in critical condition. And just to see that, you know, in a community where people don't even really lock their doors, where people have grown up here, you know, she is 64 years old, but has lived here her entire life, used to hang out at some of these spots when she was a teenager. And so this realization that now things are forever changed, you know, people are going to be altering their routines buying ring cameras. We've heard that from several people as well, that they're going to think about their security and their community in an entirely different way. And I know that this is a story that we've seen, you know, as, as you guys just talked about, you know, transpire across this country and touch people. But it is, um, you know, in such a small area to have such a high number of casualties. I mean, almost approaching the number of casualties that you see in the state of Maine in an entire year. Um, it's really hard to, to put into words just how shocking all of this is. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind, people are seeing armored vehicles go through their neighborhoods. They watched uh, last night as police executed some of these search warrants. It's making it hard, again, to grieve when there's still such an active threat here. Uh, and, you know, we're going to be talking to folks all day as, as they hope this doesn't turn into what we saw just happen in Pennsylvania, where there is a manhunt that extends and extends, and this community just can't find peace. Yeah, that was a two-week manhunt, so we'll hope this ends sooner than that. NBC's Antonia Hilton in Lewiston, Maine. Antonia, thanks so much. Joe, just...